Hi, so this is a tutorial on how to reconstitute lyophilized medication. So in this case, we have some BPC-157, which is a peptide used for soft tissue repair in this case, prescribed for a patient. And we have the bacteriostatic water, which we are going to be using to reconstitute into the powder. And depending on the concentration or what the prescription calls for, will determine the amount of bacteriostatic water that we'll inject into the peptide vial. So that changes the concentration. So I don't want to confuse people too much. It should specifically say the reconstitution quantity of bacteriostatic water that you're going to be injecting into the vial to get the desired concentration of the medication. So in this case, I'll just read to you what we wrote. So mix with five mils of dilutant and inject 300 micrograms, 10 units, subcutaneously once daily. So how do you know exactly what that is? So in this case, this is, a 15, this is 15 milligrams of medication. So what we're gonna do is inject five milliliters from the syringe into this vial. And what that is going to do is that will get us three milligrams per milliliter of solution. So from there, how do we get 300 micrograms? Well, that's basically 10% or 10 units of one cc. So if this is confusing, you can go back and, and listen to that again. So you can adjust the strength of the medication based on how much solution or back to your static water you use to reconstitute that. So what supplies are you going to need? You're going to need your medication vial. In this case, this is a peptide in lyophilized powder form. And then you're going to need back to your static water. This is what we're gonna be using to draw out of and then inject into the peptide. And then this is our reconstitution syringe. This is a 10 cc syringe with an attached 21 gauge needle, I believe, or a 20 gauge needle on there. And that's it. Make sure that you sanitize. We wash your hands thoroughly and, and make sure that everything is sterilized before starting. This is it's very straightforward. It's it's not very complicated. Okay, we're ready to go. So first step is to remove the cap from our bacteriostatic water, as well as from our peptide powder. And now we will remove our reconstitution syringe from the packaging. And again, in this case, we are going to be injecting five mils. So what we'll do is we will pull back to the five mil right there. It's good to have a, an alcohol wipe on hand. I just removed these caps, so they should be sterile, but just to be safe, we'll go ahead and do that again. Give that a second to dry. Remove your cap and inject the syringe into the rubber stopper. Invert, push the five mils of air into the syringe and the vacuum created will allow us to easily draw out the solution once you get your five mils. Now we'll take our peptide vial and we are going to inject the bacteriostatic water into the medication vial. And we should try to gently inject this into the vial. Once you have all of the bacteriostatic water, remove the syringe and swirl the medication gently. It's going to take a second to, to dissolve, but it'll, it'll get there eventually. And carefully, you also will want to recap your reconstitution syringe and then discard the needle in a sharps container. And that's, that's all just about dissolved now. And that's it, easy as that. If you have any questions, comments, or would like us to help you with anything from hormone replacement therapy to peptides to vitamin optimization or thyroid treatment, we would love to help you. 
feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. Have a great day.